And again, the other thing when it comes to lutetium uh, dutate as a treatment option, we have to keep their renal dysfunction in mind. Pamela, as a community oncologist, when I'm seeing lung cancer, breast cancer, I'm getting NGS day in, day out for these patients. Is there any role of NGS testing for this disease, be it upfront or at the time of progression? Um, I, I think there still is. I think that um, a key takeaway is that tumor mutation burden and in general somatic mutation rate is low in patients with well diff nets. Um, poorly differentiated neuronal carcinoma may actually have higher tumor mutation burden and higher somatic mutations. So the way I think about these is really for the well diff, I don't generally get um, somatic profiling early in the disease course, but as I am running out of standard treatment options, I will often get it, whether it's um, circulating tumor DNA or tissue-based. I would say that given that many of these patients may live for years, I would caution against using a five-year-old tissue sample on which to do that, which is great that we now have liquid-based assays. For poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinomas, I will consider getting earlier um, somatic profiling, including tumor mutation burden. I think that the chances of finding an actionable, actionable mutation are still pretty low for both net and neck. Um, so I don't know if I'm just treating myself. I still, I still, <laughs> I still will do it. Um, I was actually very excited this week. I found a VHL somatic mutation and That's may good. consider using belzutifan for that patient. So we get lucky occasionally, and it just adds a tool to the toolbox. Absolutely. And we've seen some bucket approvals nowadays, be it for her too, and track again, similar story, exactly. needle in a haystack. So at least in my practice, this still ends up being something that we go 